Hello everyone, Snack here, and welcome to a game that lets us transform an uncharted planet to make it our own in this wholesome multiplayer life sim, where we could also befriend creatures to gather rare resources and build our own dream home. We could also play fun minigames, farm crops, and craft decorations as we shape our perfect slice of galactic paradise. Now, welcome to Galactic Getaway. And hey, would you look at this? Looks like we, uh, we were welcomed by this uh, cute little robot. So I am the space adventure manager okay also known as sam or sam i'll be guiding you through your stay with us that's awesome first things first let's get to know you what do you like uh oh, okay uh here we are it seems this one's cool for me but uh, let's see uh we have a lot tons of hairstyles here as you can see right here you guys uh look at this uh it's so cute and adorable but i'll go ahead with this hairstyle uh, we also have the eyes okay this looks cool <laughs> look at these eyes we also have this sleepy eyes right here oh this is fun angry eyes oh geez okay uh i think i'll go ahead with this <laughs> we also have this uh skin color i'm asian so uh, let's see i'm kind of brown just in between this one is cool okay oh this one's nice i like this color right here and we are off to go you look great now let's start the personality evaluation oh this sounds serious you guys <laughs> Well, sounds good. You see a cat stuck in a tree. What do you do? Well, save it, of course. There is a new student at your school. They forgot their backpack at home and need to borrow a pencil. What do you do? Lend a pencil. You are scuba diving. You find a phone that someone lost. Well, we'll have to return it, right? And now, which number do we prefer? Uh, well, I'm a simple-minded person. Let's go with three. Uh, would you rather have the power to fly or be invisible? Well fly man flying is perfect for me it's the hottest day of the year what do you do well uh well go golf why not right what should they prefer well uh what well, watermelons goes with summer haha <laughs> your mom is cooking dinner what do you want well a uh, spaghetti what's your favorite color uh well blurple well blurple yep yep let's do with this blurple thanks for your answers so far, here's the last one. The context of interstellar cartography and the gravitational... What the heck is this, you guys? Perturbations induced by dark matter halos. How would you, one, theoretically uh, determine the time-dilated angular momentum vectors of a hypervelocity star as it traverses the Lagrangian points and of a binary star system while uh, accounting for the elevatistic frame dragging... Wow, man effects inducing the spin and the rapidly rotating a uh, neutron star ion proximity <laughs> oh geez these are like a super science thingy and uh, i don't have an idea what is this and um simultaneously considering the quantum mechanical probability clouds of any bionic matter of what this is almost like gibberish for me i don't know me either oh that's smart <laughs> Based on your answers, our algorithms have determined the best outfit for you. Oh, cool. I like it. It has a sweater, a purple, almost red sweater, and a green pants. Ah, absolutely. I love it. Okay, now let's move on to the information portion. You have been tasked with terraforming the latest planet we have discovered. Hey, look at this adorable puppy here. Your mission is to create a hospitable environment by planting various crops. This is exciting, you guys. These crops will not only make the planet lush and beautiful, but will also attract unique creatures. Ooh, native to the area. Each type of crop you plant has a special appeal. Different creatures are attracted to different crops. By experimenting with various plants, you'll discover a wide array of creatures. Oh, this is exciting, you guys, because not only you're planting things, but you know, you'll get to discover uh, creatures that's attracted to that plant that you planted. Some might be cute and cuddly, while others could be quite quirky. Now, let's talk about charms. Charms are special items that grant your creatures unique abilities. For example, some charms can allow creatures to cut down trees, break open meat meteors, or even mine rocks for valuable resources. But great! Now, let's travel to the planet to continue our conversation. Can't wait. Okay, looks like we are here. Okay, let's check out the place first before we talk to Sam the robot. And uh, let's see the controls. Uh, oh, well, this is nice. When you walk, there's a little bit of uh, tension to it. Because if you walk and you go to the other side, it won't let you go right away. Because, of course, there's a momentum going forward. So you have your body will have to adjust so you can move to the other direction, which is which happens IRL. And I like it this way. It's not robotic. 
of some sort and the movement is good jumping is good uh camera is nice but you cannot this is still in early access and in fact this is still not out uh i cannot go up and down i cannot see up or down that's my uh two cents in it but i think it's fine okay so we have the trees right here oh we have this uh greenish water there should be a lot of algae in this uh, water right here because it's colored green okay uh let's see we have some footsteps we have a dust from our feet okay let's talk to sound the robot now uh, pretty much overall the the movement the feel of the game initial feel of the game uh it's it's good i like it hey space cadet welcome to be a uh, bo bu pu gamma a uh, newly discovered planet in the outer reaches of our current galaxy we hired you to establish an outpost and learn everything you can about it let's get you no let's get you your navigator hmm what's this seems like it broke during the descent into the atmosphere oh nice so we have a new task right away you'll need to gather some materials to fix it uh but it seems all of our tools broke as well except for my shovel uh, why don't you collect some plant samples to learn more about where we are plants you can collect will have the, a highlight when you get close press e with a shovel on in your hotbar to collect them to cycle through your hotbar use the number keys or the scroll wheel you can move with okay and jump all right just the basics i like it the tutorial is nice because it will provide you the foundations of the game the basics to it at the same time not not really that super uh informational that it will make your brain explode okay so we have a shovel if you look at the lower part there will be a highlight of the plant that we could uh gather let's see this one here oh, this is not a oh, it's a tree okay uh the plant list this one nope not uh, not not a which plant then oh if you look at the upper right hand corner um it looks like a grain maybe this one right nope nope oh okay here you go I am now holding the shovel. You just need to press two. At the lower part, it says one one. Uh, it's it's fine. It's just an early access bug, I think. Uh, if you press one, this this guy here, and press two, the shovel. Maybe we need to equip the shovel so the plant would react to us. Oh, this one right here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ah, there you go. Perfect. How about this one here? Maybe we could get this also. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yep they're all the same they look different but they're all the same How about the weed oh yeah yeah you get the same uh uh drop every time you gather these plants right here although they look uh, of a different species but i will try that one again all right so you'll just have to go near the plant they get nope 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 the hitbox is a bit uh challenging for me this is one that Thing that they need to work on also the hitbox of the plant all right there you go it should be more uh sensitive and have a more coverage you don't have to really precisely face the plant it's like you're you're sniping an enemy from a great distance that's how i felt but i'll get used to it you know all right there you go just have to be very precise which i don't like but it's fine i love the the concept of the game and i love the the it's like animal crossing you guys it's fun and also the controls jumping everything looks fine except for this uh hitbox right here oh geez i i pass walk past that oh man i missed that again okay we need to be very precise hey and there you go and all right finally i got that after how many tries and i was like as close as i can be if a, if a child is playing this game it's, it's gonna be very hard for him <laughs> all right we got a 10 uh i don't know what's it's called um let's see i or uh, inventory nope okay hey sam i got what you've requested great work collecting these plants uh what's this i just found some strange fruit among the weeds you just gave me while you were collecting i saw some creatures strange creatures start to come close to your camp maybe if we befriend them they can help us gather more materials ah okay well this is it it's like an automation game which I really love. Just make things better. Try interacting with one and let me know how it goes. Okay, where is that uh, strange creature? Oh, we have an orange? Nice. Befriend one creature. Okay, I'm looking for... Oh, there you go. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, okay, wait. Hey, hey, cat. Looks like a cat, right? Uh, a cat creature from another planet. But it looks like you look like you came from Earth. Hey, how are you doing? Looks like he's angry or not feeling well whoa a wild cat appeared yep a cat indeed uh, uh first let's uh get some item uh, maybe we could uh give her this uh ichi or orange you gave the cat ichi the creature is warming up to you oh looks like yeah she loves it so much it loves gruel 
Awesome. And uh, let's give more of it. It gave the cat a lychee. What will happen? The creature is warming up to you. The same thing. It grew. Okay. Yep. We are now more than 50%. Uh, I think we are good to talk to it. This the creature stares at you. What would you say? Uh, tell a joke? Okay. How do astronauts throw a party? They plan it. <laughs> Man, this is fun. This is funny. They plan it. That's how it goes. They plan it. We combine planet. The creature is warming up to you. It love it grew. Oh, okay. You could. Okay. Um, what else could we do? Let's talk more. The creature stares at you. What will you say? Uh, tell a joke. What kind of music do planets listen to? Neptunes. Oh, man. <laughs> you got me. You got me into this one. Neptunes. The creature is warming up to you. Okay. Okay. The same dialogue. That's fine. Uh, the creature stare. Oh, man. It's getting redundant. The dialogue. The same thing happens. At least the jokes are good. <laughs> what do planets like to read? <laughs> oh, jeez. Comet books. <laughs> Okay, this is fun. The creature is warming up. Okay, I should not, I should stop reading it. <laughs> By now, you guys should have thrown up reading the same dialogue or hearing the same dialogue that I read. Okay, uh, I figure if once we reach the bar full at the upper left hand corner, be able to uh, uh, tame the creature or befriend the creature. Ah, uh, the same joke. Oh, the creature wasn't faced. Okay. If we tell the same joke, then the creature will not react to it. It will just stay as it is. But in this case, we'll give him an Ichi. Okay, he likes it so much. And he is now full of a bar. Love bar at the upper left. Now we can befriend him by clicking this at the lower right hand corner. Befriend. There you go. What will happen? The cat decided to join you. Awesome, you guys. Okay. Uh, uh, pet cat. Can we name him? Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey, I don't know your gender yet, so I don't know. He or she, uh, I don't care. The creature stares intently at you. What will you do? Open. Oh, we could open the inventory. Nice. Ah, awesome. Okay. But it would be fun if we could uh, name uh, the creatures, right? Is uh, you know what? We tame them. It's our responsibility to name him. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk to Sam. Interesting. So it seems like when you feed this creature, the alien fruit is started following you you can use the tracker app on your phone to see all of the creatures you've discovered oh what's a phone every space cadet is outfitted with a standard issue gg phone press r and the icon in your top right to open up your phone why don't you check out the tracker app you can press r again to close out of any app and then uh, again to close out of the phone okay uh r oh this is neat on the right side we can see the options that we could get to, to use to track our um friends here okay we have our cat we could name him nope okay our cat likes ichi and this uh fish dislikes poop or dislikes what uh maybe a catnip this one not, not catnip, but the different opposite of catnip. It's a catnap. <laughs> oh, that's so corny. I embarrassed myself in front of you guys. Okay. Uh, uh, great. That app will be useful in the future when you need to look up information about creatures you've already seen. Now back to gathering materials to fix the navigator. In order to hold everything uh, you need, uh, I'm going to give you access to your full inventory. To access it, press tab and a window will pop up. You can click and drag items between your inventory and your hotbar. To change what you need quick access to why don't you try it okay uh tab and then oh cool you can drag it okay that's nice okay we'll just put it here the broken navigator all right that's awesome okay so how are you going to get these materials well the gg research team have been uh, experimenting with devices that can unlock the latent power of creatures known as charms i happen to have a prototype of uh, one here with me that will let your creatures break down meteors Ooh, this is fun you guys stand close to your befriended creature and press e to open its inventory then drag smash charm from your hot bar and drop it in there press okay and and then you should be able to break down meteors when you get close okay you need uh 10 quartz 10 irons and 10 stones to fix the navigator all right sounds fun okay let's go near uh interact with uh Cat, and then drag this uh, smash charm okay let's see uh we're gonna get near a stone okay interact with it ah awesome okay nice okay we can just keep on heading awesome uh there i haven't really noticed the animation of the cat smashing the boulder let's see maybe i'll, I'll get a better view for us to see okay like this this is a good view right uh nope the cat just faces the rock and then it smashes itself without the animation. Uh, well, it would be nice if they they do a little animation that like the cat 
the cute cat is smashing the rock that would be fun all right at least we got ourselves some uh some uh materials for the navigator okay it looks like our cat is i don't know the icon maybe he's uh pumped up because he just broke some rocks uh yes this looks like everything we need one two three beep bop and the navigator has been fixed <laughs> hooray now i've installed the travel app on your phone you can use it to jump planet between planets oh Oh, this is interesting. We can jump between planets. Nice. Uh -huh. Open your phone with R and start. Uh, yep, yep. I know about that already. Press the HQ button to navigate back to headquarters. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, we could travel right now. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, travel. Uh, start online session. Oh, we could. Oh, so it's like in Animal Crossing that instead of islands, uh, we are uh, working with planets. So if we travel, we could um, enter the planet code of our friend and we could join that uh, planet, aka island, if you're playing Animal Crossing. Okay, not bad. It's a different take, an inter intergalactic take. Okay, I just clicked something, but uh, okay, we're back. Uh, click hq it will send us i think to our planet oh oh hold on we are at hq right now oh from a barren planet we are now in this beautifully developed uh city i think intergalactic city we have here an, an interesting uh, structure with a moon door uh what else we have here i like this like a store look at this you guys this is fun uh there are no inhabitants though as of the moment maybe when we get online when the game comes out but uh there are no npcs yet uh, i'm thinking they will put npcs once the game fully released or at least in early access but then again like i said earlier the hitbox it's 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 almost like game breaking for me because it when for a game that has a, that focuses on gathering resources and the hitbox is really hard to 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 hit to gather that resources even if you're like an inch close it's it's like a almost game breaking almost good thing that uh it's fun to have a cat around interact with it and i like the uh the art style as well it's cute and the music it's relaxing and uh invigorating okay uh, let's talk to sam now uh we made it back i've uploaded all your information into the gg research uh, database now we can really start building out our base camp on bupu gamma oh to help you keep up with everything you need to do uh, to do i just installed the quest app on your phone use it to plan out for a busy schedule why don't you start out by talking to odi cobbins our expert on building to learn more about settling into your planet oh Oh, who's here? Hey, hi. Someone's playing also. Ah, can we say hi? Hey, this is actually online. <laughs> oh, look at this. We are online. It's not like you need to connect to a specific planet, but you're like in one world when you go to HQ. <laughs> See ya. See ya. All right. Oh, this is fun, you guys. This is actually the... I think I'm digging more of this game now. Because you know what? You get online and with other players without really the specifics of you need to connect with an island or a, a planet to to get someone with to play with or you know it, it just drops you in a zone where you can see uh random fun people playing the game aha uh -huh. now for now let's go talk to Odie. if you look at the upper left hand corner uh uh jump 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 uh Odie, Odie. or could we talk to there is no trail guide uh we'll just navigate ourselves manually that's fine for me upper left hand corner we can see the map uh the thing is the cat's icon is too big my arrow my uh arrow indicator of my character i couldn't see i don't know where i'm facing so look at this look at the upper le left hand i don't know where i'm facing right now so maybe th maybe they could fix that let's see maybe this is Audi. uh the c is my only mistress okay that's weird oh you can also press a shift to run quickly and uh the thing is there is no uh stamina bar so we could uh run infinitely in this game okay let's now talk to uh, look for Audi. oh i just fall down oh boy i just fall down straight maybe we can jump jump oh boy and again we fall down well at least it teleports us back to where we started okay we have here uh maybe this is odi odi farming is everything in life yep it is it truly is okay we are going away uh okay this one should be the right way and i'm feeling this is odi this is uh, okay uh-huh you woke me up from my nap uh you the new rec recruit sam was telling us about I'm Odie Cubbins, the galaxy-wide expert on all construction, building, or furn uh, furniture. I know all about him. 
uh, if you want to get your base camp going, you're definitely going to want to start with a house. A pocket house is a device that contains an entire house that can fit on your pocket. It, this is what it, it, man, this concept. Uh, this has been implemented long ago by the capsule corps if you've seen dragon ball yep <laughs> they put everything in a in a capsule and then you just throw the capsule on the ground and it will just uh, morph into a car a house whatever you think about it capsule corp okay unfortunately i'm running a bit short of materials for a new homes if you want one i'm going to need some materials here's a cut charm for cutting down trees and collecting wood Come back to me when you've got everything. All right, cutting down trees. Okay, looks like we're gonna employ a uh, cat again to do our, our the job for us. Oh man, I'm so sorry, cat. I'm not. I didn't befriend you to do all the hard work. But uh, if you're willing to, why not? I'm just here to help you. Also, uh, we're gonna travel home. Uh, let's see, travel home, gather materials for home, talk to Audi. I did not read it properly. What was he saying again? Okay, uh, now let's check out this person here. Ah, yep, this is the fishing guy. Okay, hey, maybe we need to go to Sam first. Go back to Sam. Nope, he don't need us. Travel home. How could we travel home? Uh, maybe uh, travel to the planet. All right. Okay, now we are back. We could now cut uh, trees. Okay, this one. Oh, all right. Cut, cut, cut. And there you go. It's down. Nope, nope. Not the shovel. I just need to cut trees. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. More cut, please. This is what I'm talking about. The tree is so big, but the hitbox is too small. They need to balance this out. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, oh. okay. Finally, we've hit that huge tree when we were just a few uh, inches away. Uh, we need more. Uh, uh, are these stones? Yeah, stone and uh, some kind of a mineral. At least a stone is easier to hit, right? It hit, hit. There you go. This is satisfying. If only the hitbox again, I've been. If only the hitbox is easier to hit. When I say hitbox, you guys, you know, uh. When you hit this tree, it's huge, but it's the hitbox is too small for for how it looks like. Oh, never mind. And uh, if you notice here, uh, there's a tiny, tiny plant. I, I'm just a few. Uh, look at this. I'm in front of it, and when I drag, when I use my shovel, oh, it worked. Let me show you again. Like this one. Okay. Uh, like this one. This is a hitbox. I'm, I'm uh, really close to this. I do it like this. Nope. Then, uh, see, look at that. It's it's kind of hard to hit it because it's too small and the hitbox is not that precise. Uh, you need to really, really stay in front of it. And uh, there you go. Looks like our cat is thinking about uh, a, a duckling. Are you thinking of playing with it or eating it? I think he's thinking of eating it. He's hungry right now. I haven't fed our cat. Oh, now we need to talk to Odie. Okay. Uh, let's head straight to uh, HQ. This is fun because it seems that there is a place which is HQ where all online real people meet. And uh, yep, it's a perfect place to gather, talk about life, talk about nonsense. Thing is, that's fun. Why take seriously like life when life is just temporary? <laughs> well, because of my end, what I own, wait, what I take seriously is the che teachings of Jesus Christ, and those teachings translates to be a better person, to be a better and uh, contributing for a better world that's what i'm worried about is for me and then the rest it doesn't matter that's why i said that why well, take seriously life in my case i take seriously jesus christ teaching okay going back farming is everything in life yep oh no no audio i, I will speak with audio guys uh it looks like we have a barber shop here we could uh, customize our look that's fun hey audio i got your materials nice that looks everything i uh, okay here's your bucket house just put the bucket house in your hotbar and select it to decide where your you'll place your home. Try heading back to your planet to use it. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Let's go. I can't wait. This is exciting, you guys. All right. Uh, tab. Where's my pocket house? Pocket house. Where should I? I okay. Uh, I want my pocket house to be uh here, just in front of this water. Oh. Oh jeez. Build a house. Okay, I'm trying to build a house. Nope, nope. I'm not I don't want to interact with you. Okay, um building a house. Did I miss something? It's not building. If I type it here, maybe the other online players could see how how to build a house. I don't know, maybe they will just see it um see it uh here within the area. Oh, they they saw it actually. Look at this. Look at the left corner. Oh, I got all the mats, but the house won't uh, build. Uh, oh, there you go. E. Uh, I got it. Have to be serious about it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Have fun. All right. There you go. So we got ourselves a house. Like a. Okay. This is the second major one. 
uh building a house it, it made me there were a lot of space here uh maybe it's because of this guy here sam he's on the way but uh there should be at least a red um outline that tells me i couldn't build there there was no indicator so at least now we build our house let's go in there and look at this you guys we could actually uh decorate our house uh put some uh bed uh get to decide where the window should be uh put some carpets uh curtains uh plants the aquariums i'd like to have an aquarium inside my home that's gonna be fun and also a uh, uh, cat's uh place to hang out all right uh now let's go ahead and talk to sam congratulations on your new home You've taken your first step to calling uh, this place your home. Next up, we should uh, really learn how to farm the strange new crop we found for more research. Why don't you head back to headquarters and talk to Grandella, our plant experts? All right. Uh, then going back to HQ. Hey, Audrey, thank you so much for your help. I just got the house up and running. You're awesome. See ya. And Grandilla, I'm guessing this little girl right here who loves farming. Oh yeah, she does. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Grandilla. I am a garden dwarf from the planet Hippie Hop. <laughs> I'm the GG botanist, an expert on all extraterrestrial plants and crops. I can teach you everything I need. you need to know about farming. To farm, you need to dig holes with your shovel. Uh, with your shovel equip target uh, an open space and press e to dig a hole oh yeah once the hole has been dug you can put any crops in your hot bar and press e to plant it after it's fully grown you can harvest it here are some apples uh, to try out with on me all right nice uh, my daughter loves apples I, uh, okay there you go in fact i just i real i was i was taking a walk and i just saw this apple tree there were a lot of apples in it so i just picked them up hey how are you say hi to the people in the game and jump around in front of their faces so they notice us right aha uh -huh. hey i'm here slash is spaced out and this guy here at the, at the left side uh void knight i just say how are you and you replied question mark what happened what happened to civilization if you say someone say how are you say i'm fine thank you it's like huh i don't care about you i don't know you but this is a social game you should be very social social right <laughs> although i myself I, i'm not that's why i'm playing social games because i couldn't do it in real life <laughs> okay let's go ahead and uh travel to the other to our planet and oh can't wait for us to plant these uh three apples oh we have credits oh credits could be the the the, the money in this game uh could be Let's just sort things out, shovel, and plant this apple uh, just in front of our house. One, three apples, right? Two, nope, not that. All right, there you go, you guys. Plant one apple, second apple, and third. Oh, looks like it grew so fast. Look at this. Oh, boy. It grew within five seconds. <laughs> Very convenient. It, this this reminds... This reminds me, I was watching an isekai uh, previously, uh, its title is Farming in Another Life, and uh, every time he plants, it will grow rapidly just like this in a few uh, minutes in, in that uh, isekai anime, and he's just harvesting everything. Oh, look at this. We have someone here. Ah, a puppy. Oh, maybe he wants apple. Yep, yep. Let's harvest first our apples. Oh, this is so adorable. Hey, how are you? You look, you look uh, lost. Oh, we also have more here this is awesome it's like we are in unintentionally uh become a uh, sanctuary for animals every time we plant trees it's like a zoo not a zoo because zoo are zoo is where confined animals dwell but this is this is a free space for animals that we love so yep say hi to this whoa a wild dog appeared uh let's feed him first yay more apples all right more apples for you and let's tell a joke hooray now we could befriend our animal uh the, the wild dog awesome hey, hey all right uh okay we could only um we could only uh, uh summon uh, one pet at a time if you see here i have uh, we've tamed that we've befriended the dog but uh we uh, the cat is the one who's tailing us right now how about this okay there you go oh i like it more thank you cat but it seems that uh we'll go ahead with our befriend uh our friend dog here for now let's see uh it looks like i need to get the inventory first of you my cat let's get these first these charms first oh i made a mistake let's see and all right and then we're gonna summon back our cute little dog all right that's awesome and then place this uh cut charm and uh the smash charm in in the tour cute little dog all right give apples to grandella oh 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought we we're done with that, but we need to go back HQ and give Apple to Grandella. Show off our new pet. Hey, Grandella, I have something for you. An Apple and also a new pet dog. Hopefully you love him. So you love him too. Okay. Give Apple to Grandella. EE. -E. It's not responding. Ah, oh, what's happening here? Hey, I have the apples here. I need to give him to you, but you're not responding. Uh, we, maybe we could try unstuck option. All right. We are back. Oh, oh, we just got a bug. Oh, there you go. Our pet dog is back. Okay, we just did the unstuck button. Let's see if it works. And hey, let's say hi to these guys. Can we wave? Hi, grandma. <laughs> I see how she responds. Oh, yes, this is a cute raccoon. Ah, it's so cute. Hey, hey, hello. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Oh, what is this? Something fell from the ground, you guys. Look at this. Did we pick it up? Oh, yeah, we did. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, no. Ah, a pet. Let's see. Someone dropped a pet. Did you drop your pet? I found a lost pet in hq all right let's see if someone someone will uh retrieve the pet otherwise we'll, we'll have to take care of it until someone does okay moment of truth let's see uh grandella is not responding give apples to grandella but uh what's happening here she's not responding oh and we fell again <laughs> my bad okay uh it's not working you guys maybe i'll just need to uh go back to the main menu and uh log back in just a minute all right uh, i'm back it's still not working okay let's ask help did grindela accepted uh your apples all right let's see hopefully someone's kind enough to help us okay i think grindela needs 10 apples we only have eight that's what i think but let's do that let's see if that works so that means we're gonna plant more apples right yep let's do that okay watch them grow if only this is that's how easy to plant uh trees right okay we got not 10 okay let's get one more batch just to make sure and we are off to grandella okay guys again a moment of truth hey yeah all right hey grandella oh okay looks like uh, she needs 10 apples wow thanks for the apples here's some credits for your efforts credits can be used at your trade terminal to buy crops from around the galaxy wait you've been heard you've never heard of a trade terminal odi but uh, odi should uh definitely know more about how to get one okay uh odie she actually required like uh, we got 20 apples 18 apples how i wish it stated here because you know if, if you haven't really figured it out then you'll just give up at least uh there's an information of how many apples she needs okay uh back to Udi. yes i do believe i have instructions to make around here somewhere why don't you gather the materials we'll need to build one while i look around for it I will start after after my nap. Collect trade mat okay. Um we need to go to our planet and gather materials for the trade terminal. And one more. Smash, smash, smash. And that should do it. Oh, one more boulder to smash. And there you go. Uh-huh. Awesome. Oh, where am I? Oh, I was just having a bad dream. I see you get all the required materials. Okay. Trading terminal, putting it in your hotbar and pressing E. You can use the terminal to get crops and items you've never seen before. Some of those crops might attract new creatures. All right. This is fun. Uh, We'll be building it in our planet, right? Okay. Should be at, a, at the side of our house. Aha. There you go. What would you like to do today? Let's see. Let's check out the... Okay. We have Ichi, apple, wheat, uh, tomato... Gi curry, blue aster, orange aster, purple aster, indigo violet. Oh, there's a lot. There's a ton of them. We also have some uh, mushrooms, some uh, almonds, and some charms. All right. They look good. Looks like everything is coming along nicely here on Bupagama. I have noticed that a new creature has come, uh, uh, has been uh, coming by the settlement ever since you planted those apples. It seems like different creatures are attracted to different crops you grow around your planet. There might be even more things they're attracted to crops furniture visitors it, it could be anything oh okay why don't you befriend a few new creatures to learn more start by buying some new crops from the trade terminal all right you guys by the way yep so far i'm having fun with the game although again the hitbox is is kind of weird it, they need to fix this one it's hard very hard to gather this plant here is the hitbox to gather it is so small i couldn't even hit it unless if i already face it directly so anyway uh yep yeah, for more videos you can yeah oh, before we continue uh you can go ahead and check uh check this game out at least give it a wish list to help you out as well this game has huge potential and uh yep yeah, for more videos you can look at the lower part of the screen and um thank you again for hanging out and if you're new feel free to like and subscribe and may we always walk with patience and kindness because this is what love is see you on the next video